Well, you're again back with uh, old Robert and Barry on a Thursday bounce around here. We're just coming out. We're starting to hug uh, the Rio Boba, the Boba River, that does uh, provide uh, most of the irrigation for the rice fields around the town uh, of Las Gordas and those areas that are rice communities. So I'm going to let Rob uh, kind of just talk to you for a second or two about if it's... Uh, little bit what today's experience was in uh, the middle of nowhere and what I kind of so often do and take for granted. Anyway, you having a good time though? Oh yes, absolutely. This is amazing uh, a day trip. <laughs> uh, some of these roads are, are just phenomenal. Some of them are quite good actually. I was very surprised in some of the areas they're actually building the, the roads really well. Uh, curbs, sidewalks, the roads are constructed very well in between different villages or actually connecting them. It's, uh, it's going to be a really nice area. It's really funny, but everybody pitches in. I got Rob doing narratives now uh, on the videos. So uh, everybody pitches in. It's one family. But uh, I love to get folks out that um, enjoy nature and really don't mind a banger, a little wobble, or like Rob said, grab the whole shit bar once or twice. But, uh, you know, people like that stuff. Those are the people that, you know, Leanne and I tend to gravitate to because it's what, what we do so often. Anyway, uh, I'll do one, maybe one more minor catch-up here around where the water dams are because we're not too, too, too far from it. And uh, I want to show that to Robert uh, so he'll get a much better idea of how these things are irrigated from the start. And maybe another day we'll cross the five rivers it takes to where it originates, which is another day thing, a three, four hour ride. But you got to cross five rivers to get to it. And maybe I'll do that another time. You think you'd be into that? You'd enjoy uh, yeah, that? Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah? All right, well, I'm going to uh, just cut off camera now and I'll just do a quick film around Boba and uh, we'll catch up with you guys soon. After uh, Leanne edited the second video, which we're on right now, on a great trip I had with Rob on a day trip, I just wanted to add in a couple little points. We're on a back road on the way to Los Memisos. And, uh, you know, I often get a kick, and I think um, after talking with Rob, he has a whole different outlook after uh, spending that day of what people term, and I, I loosely quote it, the uh, real DR, or what the DR is like. Gosh, for someone who's been here for more years than I care to remember, <laughs> quite a bit more in two plus decades, um, I'm still learning every day or every month or every time I step out. So what is the real Dominican? Well, traveling through some of these little villages in the middle of nowhere, I'd say you're getting a pretty good view of it. You know, but it's all subjective. You know, the person that's in a touristy area sitting at a bar and getting hustled here and there or that nightlife kind of thing, to them that's the real Dominican Republic. So I caution folks uh, because what I had found is, let's like use uh, Canada or U.S. Would you say, even though it's the same country, that people from California are the same kind of personalities of people from the back wheat fields of Kansas area. I mean, they couldn't be more opposite, you know. And, uh, you know, for one, they're used to, well, most of these people are surviving largely, not totally, but largely off the land that they're on. Everywhere you go, you'll see gardens, not the most manicured gardens, but beautiful gardens that have all the basic staples they need, certain fruits, 
vegetables are just in abundance here. So yeah, the diet's limited, but they're living largely off of the land. A lot of the folks we relocate and everything, while Cabrera is a balanced town and it's got a lot of creature comforts and more, certainly way more than a town our size should have because we're a tiny town. But yet we've got seven or eight awesome restaurants. We've got grocery stores that have everything or just about everything you want. If not, once a month, take a little trip to Santiago and fill it in like we do. But that's a whole complete different way of living than what you see here. So again, I caution you when you uh, talk about you know, what is the real Dominican Republic? Well, I don't know. It's varied from one extreme to the other. Anyway, part three will close this off. You're riding along with old Barry. Bye. <laughs>